Uh, this is the EBR 75 FL10. This is a French tier eight light tank and the map is Fisherman's Bay. We're gonna do some flanking in this game. And today's episode is sponsored by Ladies' Choice Peanut Butter. When you want the taste of peanut butter, try Ladies' Choice. Okay, so the first thing I usually do is come out and spot the tanks that are heading west. I could just as well spot the tanks that are heading east. I always run into that uh, structure just for the hell of it. You know, it throws off the enemy, confuses them. I got 191 damage on the LT-432, and actually I got 355 damage on the LT-432. You know what? I hit him for 191 on my second shot, and he hit me back for 191. Okay, so we got an idea of, of what's happening on the west side. You can see that it looks like they're going to advance, and uh, we don't have a lot of tanks in the middle here, which is actually pretty good for me because it might make it open for me to advance through and get behind them. Oh, look at that. They got heavy tanks going west. That was a really bad decision. So now my team knows that we overpower them on the east. And because they're all Anakums, they're going to stand their ground and make sure that they hold their positions. Wow, look at that. That Lance and C hit me. When that sort of thing happens, my idea is usually to take him out of the game. Look at that, he hit me twice. He's obviously using an aim bot. Dommage. He's using an aim bot, he's a known aim botter. The P44 is still out in the open, we could easily hit him. I guess I did not have him auto-aimed with that first shot. Got 658 damage and 695 spotting damage. But you can see that there's an opening where I can go and get behind these tanks and hit them from behind. And I've done this a few times and sometimes it works out really well and often it doesn't. And the reason why is because the Tiger and the Defender, they're not really in, I'm, I'm the direct threat to them, I'm the danger. So they're just gonna turn around and point their guns to me. The only reason why this would normally work is if they had a threat. So now that the T-34B is coming up on them, it might make it easier for me, but they don't necessarily know yet. They're not reacting yet to that T-34. And my team of Anakums, they haven't made their strategic advance yet. So obviously the obvious thing is to go for that uh, obvious S-51. He's already taken some damage. He might be gone by the time I get there. Mr. Trident Saber and I would love to ram him, but I can't. He's got too much armor. S-51 is one of the most difficult tanks to play in the game, S-51. Okay, so we won 6-0 on the east side. 100% of the reason was because of me. It was because of my amazing spotting and my amazing flanking. And I will not survive to see out this game, ladies' choice. I did get 1,200 damage and 1,000 spotting damage. You can see I put fun game in the comments uh, so that all the Anakums will know that I did enjoy the game, ladies' choice. Score seven to two. I, got, I took out one enemy tank. Let's see if we uh, see anything else in this game. Nope, that's the game. Okay, so that's the game. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, look, I have more than one channel now. I have uh, a SPG channel, a light tank channel, my main channel, and I've got channels for other aspects. Uh, I'm probably going to have a frontline channel. Uh, if you subscribe to all of them, you can see a lot more gameplay.